Hi, hi, I'm here. On one of my last videos that I did on this Fargo stainless steel bot bottle pot, I got a comment from Three House, where Three House asked, I wanted to ask what you thought about using the Vargo bot with the Vargo triad stove. This is the titanium stove. Do you think it'll be stable enough, full of water? Do you have any other tips on the alcohol stove, on an alcohol stove of the same weight class that might be stable enough? Well, considering that the Vargo Triad Titanium uh, alcohol stove is made by the same people, you would think it would fit. But I have this uh, full of water up to the threads. Oh, as a side note, it says that the capacity of this is one liter or what, 34, yeah, 34 fluid ounces. Well, if you put that much water in here, you can't get the lid on. Leastways, I can't with this one, not without water coming out. So I have this filled up to the uh, threads. And that makes it weigh. This with the water is 1152 grams or 40.6 ounces or 2.5 pounds. Anyway, to get back, you would think that since these are made by the same company that they would fit and work. But if you put a, this pot on that weighs 2.5 pounds, you can get it on there, but it's very unstable. You can, if you get just the right spot, you, if you get just the right spot, you can get it to stand on there, but I think it's too unstable for this. I mean, this is a, a nice flat table out in the field, forget it. So, not so much with this, in my opinion. Now, I did do a stove earlier. These are called the, I call them the CAS, C-A-S stoves. They're a capillary action stove. It's a easy do-it-yourself stove. You could make it out of one soda can, cut it into two parts. You put crimps on this part, set it on the inside, and I don't know if you can see it here, but the crimps make little slots in the stove where the alcohol gets sucked up because, well, I'll give you reference, I'll give you a link to where I did these videos before, but the capillary action just sucks the alcohol up and lets it burn up here. Now to compare these, the Vargo Titanium, Triad Titanium, weighs 28.3 grams or about one ounce. This stove, the cast stove, this is number two. I had made a shorter one and then I made another one that has that one inch sweet spot. This stove weighs 7.4 grams or 0.26 ounces, a whole lot lighter and a whole lot cheaper. I mean, a whole lot cheaper. This doesn't cost you anything if you have the cans. You just have to cut them. So I'm going to do a test today. I'm going to dump this water out, put two cups of water in here, and get one fluid ounce of methanol in this, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got to work quick here. I've got two cups of water setting at 59 degrees now. Room temperature is 49 degrees, so it's catching up with it. One fluid ounce of methanol in the stove. Just light it up. See if you can see that. Yep. It's lit. Almost all the way around. Okay, so two cups of water setting at 59 degrees. And let's see what this does. We're now at the two minute mark. The temperature is up to 112 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you can see this is a pretty nice flame coming out to the bottom of the pot and up and over. So it is hitting the sides of this pot. Um, I'm, this is doing pretty good considering the other one that I used, the other pot that I used with this was the aluminum Boy Scout type pot that I used, which is much wider. But this is a nice flame pattern. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes, 17 seconds. Not bad. 
So what we had there was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes, 6 seconds. Now with the Boy Scout pot, let me see, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 4 minutes and 18 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. That, you know, that difference is probably because the other pot was aluminum, which seems to heat up a little bit faster, plus it was wider so that all the flames were caught on the bottom of the pot instead of up the side. Now you do get some of the benefit of the flames up the side, but I think that a wider pot works much better than the flames coming up the sides. So not bad. But, you know, it works. So I thank Charlie, or Charles rather, I'm sorry, Charles from Three House Sweden. Wow, that's cool. I'm internationally known. Wow. I thank you, Charles. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.